Uh, hi everyone and welcome back. Before I go further, first of all, we'll just do a quick recap on the commands because these are important to run DynamoDB offline and do the testing of the Lambda, okay? We did SLS uh, DynamoDB install, okay? Even before that, we already have the package.json which talks about DynamoDB local, okay? Here I can show you that. So we already have this package, serverless DynamoDB local, okay? And serverless offline is already a plugin. After doing this, we can do serverless offline start. This will actually spin up our uh, serverless application. Okay, and we can, ex we can see that everything is getting exposed, all the functions. Now, to work with this DynamoDB, right? So here, this is the code we have written, DynamoDB did dot connect line. If we provide it like this, then what it will try to do, it will try to look for your AWS profile and try to connect to actual DynamoDB uh, on the AWS, right? Because it, if you haven't set AWS profile, then it will throw exception and all these things will happen. To get rid of these things, what you can do is, you can you can just write a code, okay, process.env.local, then get the DynamoDB instance like this. Otherwise, get the DynamoDB instance like this, right? So this code you can do for the local testing because here we have to use reason local host and the endpoint is targeting to this particular resource because our DynamoDB is running on 8000. Sometimes we do this mistakes and then we, we start exploring, okay, what is the RR and we end up wasting our time. For DynamoDB client running locally, doing the testing local, these are the steps, okay? Fine, and our APIs are running on 3000. We will do the testing once we are able to check everything. So we, in the last video, we were writing the create, right? Similarly, I will do the small changes and we can actually have a look on how to do update, delete, all these things, okay? Now, here we have add.js, here we have actually created some of our Lambda that is talking about creating the resource. Now, what is other things? Other thing is like you can talk about delete, you can talk about list. List is all about scan from the database table, right? So I will just use this only to keep updating and showing you what change you need to do is in the params for the list because I just need to do the scan, right? This is my params and I can do dynamodb.scan. This is the method and I will pass the params and I will get error and result and this result if there is no any error then I can just pass this result to you json dot stringify result dot items here we will get multiple items clear and we will just return this response this is about listing all now if you wanted to get a particular right then uh, you will be passing the same params here param definition will change a little table name is same here we will use key because i want to do the get by id right so id will be something which i'm getting from the event dot path parameters how do i write it path dot id something like this so now here what i'm looking for is okay give me the, the, the document where the id is equal to this and here instead of scan, I will do the get. Get params and I will get the same result and I can just put result dot item because here I'm returning a single item. I think, yes, single item. That is about get by ID. Now list get by ID, create, then there can be another update. Update is like uh, here we will pass the table name key and the expression matching criteria, right? Because we are doing update where some criteria should match so we will say okay to do text is matching something like this then only do the update so i will just use a very plain query expression attribute where this equals to this then only do this so if to do text we have to do text property it look like text then only instead of get here we will run the update and I think same is applicable for delete. Uh, delete, okay, in delete we don't need a payload, right? Because what we need is the key ID. It's like get by ID, delete by ID. We have the table name, we have the ID, and instead of update, 
there should be a method which talks about delete so instead of the update we can do delete and we don't need to return anything so there is an error we will get and we'll just return the null with response response will be empty because we don't have a data in the delete or you can just say status code is 204 that is also fine no content right so these are the different methods the only change you have to do everywhere is we have to pass the object here we can't just directly say okay dynamodb dot document client right we have to actually update this with this definition so that we don't get additional errors i mean this is for the local environment but for production you can actually do the new aws dot dynamo db dot dynamo client will not pass anything here now if i just try to run this and see how it is working then this is already running right and i can just do the create update and all these things so here i tried get i did the get dev to do's so i am getting this empty i can try doing post in the post i need to pass the body raw application json and we need to check our code what we are doing in create okay in create we are actually extracting some attributes which is like inside data we need to have a text property right and then we are doing text okay let's add a text here this is the menu we can have in the payload okay that's cool so now we are able to create to do's new ids are getting assigned because we are running DynamoDB locally and when i do the get i should be able to get all right so my DynamoDB local api is to do get put post delete is now working the the steps which you need to take care is this part and sls uh, DynamoDB install sns offline start these things you just need to take care otherwise everything is good okay that's it about this API. Now this application can be as complex as you want because it's just about thread operation, but you might be using DynamoDB and you're doing your, these, you are writing these APIs that might be calling some third party APIs. A lot of things you can do. I mean, the full scale Node.js application can be written here through the lambdas. Okay. Uh, thanks everyone.